Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be, as you guessed it, June favorites. As you know, if you've been watching my channel for a little while, favorites videos are my favorite videos to film. So I'm so excited to do this and get this up for you because it has been quite a few months since I filmed my last favorites video because of the whole moving and different jobs and just everything going on in our lives. Also, as you can see, I am in my new beauty room. We did get the mirror up this past weekend, but if you watched my, I think it's two videos ago, the Impressions Vanity Mirror Review and Unboxing video, you'll see the mirror I'm talking about. I didn't want to use the stand that's included with it. It's this really large oval base that the mirror sits on because I just wanted to have a sleek vanity top without that in the way. So we just have to figure out a way to actually get this mirror to sit upright without having it fall forward or anything happen to it. So somehow we need to mount this on the vanity. Uh, that would be the absolute last step. And then I will be able to film the whole after of the beauty room and the whole process, what I learned, recommendations for you guys and all that. So I'm really excited. I promise it's coming. I swear we're almost there. So without further ado, I have quite a few favorites because it has been a while since I filmed this. So let's just get into it. My first favorite is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I did a haul video a few videos back and show this to you and I just noticed that I grab this all the time. It obviously smells amazing. It smells like candy gummy bear peaches and the colors are just beautiful. Pigmentation's great. I have it on today. How can I show you this? I'm wearing white peach right here on my brow bone. I'm wearing peaches and cream on my lid and then I'm wearing puree in my crease today. So it, it's just a really good mixture of colors, neutrals, kind of everything you need with a mirror. So it's a really good palette for on the go and I've just been grabbing it a lot lately. So if you've been thinking about this, I highly recommend it. This is the Sephora Pro Brow Comb number 21. As you can see, it is very nice quality. The brush on this side I use for my brows because when I do, typically my face routine consists of putting my foundation on first and doing my full face and then going to my eyes. Unless I'm doing a seriously like beat eye, really dark eye look where I know I'm gonna have crazy fallout. But since I do my foundation first, I notice that my brow tattoos and my brows just get covered up by foundation. So I like to actually use this end and brush my brows through and kind of like get the foundation off my skin and the hairs. And then I'll take my baby wipe and just wipe the ends and the bristles on this and just keep doing it until they're clean of foundation. And then I'll go in with my brow pencil and do my brows. So love this side, I use it all the time, it, every day. And then this side I'm constantly using to comb out my lashes or you know if you have any clumps or anything. So love this. This is my first Sephora brush, but I am really, really loving it. So I might try a few others. If you guys have tried the Sephora brushes and you have a favorite one, please comment below and let me know. This is just the basics cleansing and makeup remover facial towelettes. This is one of those things that is a necessity in my daily take my makeup off cleansing face routine. I've gone through a zillion different brands as I'm sure most of you have until I found these. I got these at our CVS. We have one literally across the street from us. And for 60 towelettes, it was $5.99. So of course I'm like, okay, these are probably gonna be cheap, not very good. No, these are amazing. They don't sting my eyes, they take off my makeup, they're a decent sized towelette, they stay moist even towards the bottom. And a tip for that, what I do when I actually store these, um, after I've opened them up and store them in my drawer, you know how you can open up this part? store them upside down so that way all the moisture that was pretty much soaking up on the bottom one start to go to the top and that way all of them will be 
wet or they'll be pretty consistent as you use them. So here, let me pull one out for you guys so you can see it. So this is what it looks like. And as you can see, it's a pretty decent size. It's not super thick or rough, but it's a perfect texture and thickness to where it wipes your skin nicely. It gets off a ton of makeup. I feel like it just smells clean. There's no added fragrance. And I, I literally love these. This is my second or third time repurchasing these. And I am in love. They're the cheapest ones I've found and they're the best ones I've found. So how often do you get that combination? Score. This is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. This is in the color Blonde. I use this baby every single day. It is a drugstore brow mascara. It locks in your brows, like legit it holds. See my brow hairs, they're kind of like pointed upwards. That's because of this. And this is super cheap compared to the Benefit Brow Mascara or a lot of the other brow mascaras I've tried. This is my favorite one and you can get it at Ulta, drugstores, and it's amazing. So I literally just take this and brush all my brow hairs up. Like they're, they're stiff just from the first application. That's how amazing this is. So I highly, highly recommend. This is my favorite and it's drugstore. Oh, and the blonde color, as you can see, isn't too warm. A lot of times when you find drugstore brow products, they tend, the blonde ones, tend to run on the warmer side, which doesn't work for me. My natural hair color is actually a very cool toned, dirty blonde. So I always need cool toned or even towards the grayish side of brow products. But I noticed this one is the perfect color. It's not too gray and it's not too warm. Love it. These are a pair of mosquito lashes in the color, in the color. Woo! I haven't eaten lunch yet. It's 4.30. I can get through this. Okay. Mosquito Lashes in the style Midnight Symphony. Now this is saying this is their full volume and these are the lashes I have on right now. I love these lashes. I noticed that whenever I'm going on a trip or whenever I'm going out with the girls or date night, I always lean towards these lashes, this style, this brand. First of all, the brand, is it Esquito, Esquito? I'm not sure. But I've purchased these a year or two years ago, and since then I've purchased many other brands of lashes. I always go back to these. The band is just the right amount of thickness, and it's soft, so it's flexible, and it will mold easily to your lash line. I notice a lot of the other lashes, when they're super full and voluminous, the band is too stiff or too thick, and it's uncomfortable. This band doesn't do that. So let me zoom in for you. All right, as you can see, I don't have any liner on. I just use dark eyelash glue and the band is just the right amount of thickness to where you can do that. You don't have to wear liner. I've worn this pair a hand, more than a handful of times. I can't even count. Normally after a few times, even high-end lashes for some reason just don't look as good with me and I don't put mascara on my lashes. I always put mascara on first. So these have been lasting a long time. They're like my go-to, I love them. They're just that really nice wispy where you can still see between your lashes but it's still full and voluminous. I just love these. I always take them with me. They're my go-to pair of lashes. I've been wearing them all the time recently. All right, next is my recent favorite foundation combo. So as you can see, I have not sunless tanned in two weeks, so it's all gone. I'm going sunless tanning tomorrow because for the 4th of July and my brother's birthday, we are doing our family vacation the one week all year in the summer we fly home to Michigan and we just are on the boats. We have the best time. It's, I'm so excited. So where I'm going with this story is I'm getting my spray tan tomorrow. The past few times I've gotten spray tans, when we went to Turks and Caicos for a wedding, we went to California for a wedding, I always take the same foundation combination, which is this. The NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. This is in the color Medium Dark 2 Tahoe. And this is literally my perfect color for the day after I get my sunless tan, when you are maximum sunless tanned. 
But as you know, your sunless tan gradually starts to fade. So instead of buying this foundation in a million colors, which I, I already have it in three colors, so I can't really talk. But all you have to do is get something like the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops. I got mine in N20 and for neutral. They have a, I think G for golden or warm tones, and then they have a cool tone one. I got the N for neutral. And 20 is very light. So as you can see, this is a very light color. So what I do is as my tan gradually fades, I will take one or two pumps of this with a little bit of this, and as my tan fades more and more, I'll just add more of the light color. And I always like to mix it, and I love applying with this foundation with my fingers anyways. So it's like the perfect combo because I'll mix it and kind of hold it up to my face, and if it looks like it matches, then I'll go ahead and go on with it. So you can always just customize your perfect foundation color between these two. Next is a face powder. Now, I've been going through all these different types of powders, You're hearing about all these translucent powders. They seem to be a huge thing lately. So I've been going through all these, and then in the past month, I came back to one I've had for a long time and just kind of forgot about. This is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Press Powder. Now, I love press powders because of the convenience of them. They're really easy to take on the go with you. You can throw them in your purse. They're just so much cleaner than the loose powders. So I picked this up and started using it and I forgot why I stopped using it. One of those things. I fell in love with it all over again. So as you can see, I hit pan and I just feel like this does a great job of setting my foundation. So before you want to go in with your browsers and your, your powdered products, I have been putting this on just to set everything and I noticed that it just makes my skin look smooth. It does it does do a nice job of filling in my pores. I have to say that. If you have really big pores, I would say take a brush and kind of press it in the spots where you want them to be filled more. But if you're just wanting to do an all over dusting to set your foundation, like a lot of times I do, just, just take a fluffy brush and just brush it everywhere and it does an amazing job. So I've been really loving this. Next are two lip products. The first one is this MAC lipstick in the color Honey Love. It's a matte formula, which I don't normally like the matte formulas. They're too drying. But I don't know if MAC reformulated some of them or if lately I've just found ones that are a little bit more creamy. But this one definitely is not too drying. This is just the most beautiful neutral brown taupe. Like, it's just such an awesome color. Whenever I want a nude lip that's not too light, like Myth or something on the lighter end, and I want something that's just a good slap it on and go, but yet it looks good with so many skin tones, I go for this one. Super pigmented, really creamy, and digging it. The last lip product is what I'm wearing right now. This is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in Red Rum. Now, if you guys are getting ready for the 4th of July, if you're in the United States or any other countries and you celebrate the 4th of July, our Independence Day, and you're running a really good red lipstick, I go for this one. I just feel like when I wear this lipstick, I get so many compliments, and I love the color. And it also kind of matches my nails. I'm 4th of July ready. I will be taking this with me on my trip. These Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks are a really great formula. I've had this on for a few hours now. Definitely staying very nicely. They're super pigmented, very creamy, not too drying, and I noticed they last for pretty well. The first place that they do wear off whenever I'm eating or just throughout a long day is definitely in the inner part of the lips. Overall, this is I do really like the formula of these. It's a product I didn't realize I loved so much until I started running out of it. Does that happen to you? This is the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. And I need to do a hair video, I think, because I can't believe I haven't done one on my channel. If you guys want to see a hair tutorial or styling tips or anything like that, comment below, let me know. But pretty much, I have very fine hair. I have a lot of it, but the texture is very, very fine. So after I wash my hair, the only way I can get any type of volume or styling like this or my mohawk is to use some type of texturizing spray. I've tried a ton. Dry shampoos are great, but I use those mostly if I want to absorb oils at the scalp or root area. If I really want to try and get some good texture and height and volume 
to my hairstyle, I use this. Nothing has compared to it. It's amazing. Uh, you can get these on Orbe's website or my local salon actually carries it. So I just recently bought a refill there. But pretty much it's one of those sprays where you just spray it in your hair. And what I'll do is after I'm done hair drying my hair, I will take this and just section my hair and just do a couple sprays throughout my hair. And it instantly goes from flat, like dead looking hair, no style, to it looks like completely different hair. So I'm. this is like my magic spray in a bottle. But make sure you differentiate that this is not a hair spray, it's just a texturizing spray. So I always do that to seal in my hairstyle after I get the huge volume from this, I will then go in and finish off with the hairspray to hold everything in place. So just wanted to make sure I filled you in on that. All right, two items left. These are the Tarte Resilience Skin Rejuvenating Maracuja Self-Tanning Face Towelettes. I don't use them every week. Pretty much what I do is I'll save them for whenever I'm going on a trip or when I know I'm going to be around people without makeup on, like in the mornings or, you know, just lounging around. What I'll do is I will, you open this up and it's a little tan tanning towelette and just wipe it all over your face so it does not dry out my face. A ton of other ones I've tried have. And it makes your face actually feel moisturized and nice. It almost feels like a face product, but it's a tanning, tanning towelette. Let me just read the back because I feel like I'm screwing this up. Designed specifically for your face, this revolutionary self-tanning towelette infuses skin with maracuja and skin rejuvenating nutrients as it imparts a natural looking radiant bronze. So it does that. I really like these. It's not gonna make your face brown super dark, but I noticed that it just gets my face dark enough to where it really helps even out my hyperpigmentation. So when I'm not wearing foundation, I can get away with just throwing on moisturizer and feeling like my skin is looking more even and smooth and glowing. So I will be taking these on my trip as well. This should be like a pre-trip beauty product must have video or something. I mean, it's my recent favorite since we are in June. I have been traveling quite a bit. My last favorite are a pair of sunglasses. Again, since we've been in Turks and Caicos, California, a bunch of warm destinations, I was searching for a new pair of shades. So I love my Ray-Bans, but you know, they're everywhere, which is fine. And so I was just looking for something that was similar with the mirrored metal lens, but just a little bit more funky and different. So I found these from Dior. I forgot the name of them, so I'll list them below. But this is what they look like. They have gold on the top and the bottom with rose gold in the middle. They do come in some different colors. They come in, I think, gold with silver. I think gold, silver with blue. Some different options, but I just love rose gold. I'm a sucker for it. So this is what they look like on. And they are pretty boss status. <laughs> But you know me, all of my sunglasses, all of my actual, most of my optical glasses that I have are just huge, oversized, and that's just me. That's what I like. I feel most comfortable wearing stuff like this. So when I saw these, I was like, oh, I have to have them. Sunglasses are one item that I just splurge on. Shoes, purses, sunglasses. Like accessories are the area that I don't mind saving up and investing in. Whereas uh, my shirt is from, this is from Forever 21. I think my pants are, and this is from ASOS. So basically all my clothes are pretty inexpensive, but when it comes to accessories, I don't mind spending more and investing in them. So loving these. I feel like they're a great addition to my summer sunglasses, and I'm so excited to take these to Michigan, rock these on the lake. I did have one epic fail of the month, which I was so sad and shocked about. I was so excited to buy the Charlotte Tilbury new mascara. It's called Legendary Lashes Mascara. I already returned it because I was just shocked, like hated it. It is $32 and I heard so many great reviews on it that I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I have to try this. I used it a few times. Every time I used it, it was like, it never dried. I don't know if it's 
because I live in humid weather now, but literally after 30 minutes, an hour of wearing it, I would have like specks of where my eyelashes would hit my bottom lash line and my upper lid and where it would just smear everywhere. I've never had that happen with a mascara. Drugstore mascara, high-end mascara, never. So, tried it again. Same thing happened. Tried it a third time. Finally, the third time, I was at brunch, and after about an hour of wearing it, I just went like this to, you know, check it out to see what would happen. Black came off on my finger just from going like this. The mascara just never dried, and whenever it would touch or come in contact with anything around my eye, it would smear and get all over, and it was just a hot mess, so I had to return it. Please let me know if you guys have this mascara and it works for you, or if you've had the same problem, I'd love to hear. So that was my epic fail of the month. You guys want me to incorporate more of these fails, or I don't even know what I'm calling them. If you have an idea, let me know. Then comment below and let me know if you like that. That was everything. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It totally helps me out, and I really appreciate it. Also, it lets me know that you guys like these types of videos, so I know to keep doing them for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any video requests or questions about anything, Please leave them in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. If you made it this far to the very end, comment below what is your favorite product of the past month because I love hearing your favorites too and I get great recommendations from you. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Peace.